What is up guys, Austin awesome Nurcho here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server, just hanging out here at the top of my base, just here out overlooking all the dinos and everything we got going on, coming over here putting stuff in our generator so we can get it on and working, and I've moved our egg collector over to here, let's see if it collects anything, I doubt we got any eggs, but I just moved it over here, any, gonna collect anything, any eggs poopy I don't know what it's trying to collect I didn't check the settings not for sure anyways but I moved it over to this part of the base so that way I can cover more of stuff in that direction and down over here a lot more and just everything hopefully goes on very good so today I've got a couple of I don't know about a couple things planned but I want to do something today so if you saw the last episode, we ended, or I ended up, sorry, taming Buckbeak here with the new Griffin. It was a 130, I believe, Griffin, and so now it's up to 206, and just trying to pump. Let's see, well, yeah, get the melee damage pumped up in there. Trying to get the health raised up, up to 10,000. Working on that. Oh, we got a random Pteranodon, a level 20. Get out of here. Um, so, and then we got our Quetzal, of course, it was a lot of level 25, maybe it's up to 99. Um, I don't know what it tamed up, but I'm hoping we have more levels, because I'm trying to get it powered up, but we're going to be coming down, actually, may want to stay over here just for it to be some level, actually, no, because I forgot we got the thing down here. So let's fly down here. So I plan on moving today, not like permanently moving it's just there's something I want to build that I've been wanting to build for quite a while or at least to test build I should say so let's come in here so I need to come in here and build a set I don't think I've built it yet yeah I don't see the saddle anywhere and it's not on my inventory I've got another stuff to prepare for it but we're gonna do a pletzel pletzel <laughs> quetzel platform that's what I should say and so once this crafts up, we'll put some foundations on it and everything, and hopefully I can load up some dinos and take it to our new base location. Any second, now there we go. So let's put that in my inventory there. So let's come over here to the Quetzal. I don't know again why I didn't make the, the uh, saddle in the first place. I don't know why. Um, let's just... Uh, I think it's in the inventory. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. So let's take a look here. Um, we'll go ahead and do the metal first. So I thought there was something about an S plus platform or something that would uh, allow you to snap stuff. And I'm, I may look it up real quick because I swore there was something about a snapping platform. Not exactly sure. I could just be completely wrong and thinking of something else but let me look into it real quick <laughs> you should have looked at it before but I didn't have this settle so I couldn't really even make it or anything so let me test this out real quick okay so I couldn't find anything so I'm just gonna have to place this so I'm just gonna have to eyeball this pretty much I don't know any other way to do this so I'm just gonna have to you know just be oh my god look how giant this thing is um, uh, this doesn't look like it's going to turn out very well. And the, of course the Quetzal keeps moving and everything. Um, let's just go ahead and place it. <laughs> okay, that does not look good. Um, can we go off? Uh, let's get out of K mode here. Can we build next to it? Can build there. Can build up. I don't want to build up though. Um, shoot, so I apparently did not do this very well. So let's try. Okay, um, let's see if I can tr do a ceiling maybe. Let's see if that'll do anything. I was trying to do metal just because, you know, I already have metal on it. Let's go with, uh, where's normal? Why they're all sloped roofs? Do we just need to have normal roofs in here anywhere? No, probably not, so I have to build it. Dang it, okay. So let's come in here. Let's just try. 
I guess we'll go with metal still because I have pretty much a lot of metal stuff. Let's go with one ceiling for now and see how this works out. I didn't think this was going to be the hardest part of the video, but okay. So let's come over here now and go with... It's the wrong thing. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so that is where I want it. So it looks like we're just going to be able to do two, which I think should be fine. So I need three more of those, it looks like. Let's go with three of those. Craft up, and then we'll do the ramp. Just off, which I think I have ramps on me, yeah. Uh, Surely that should be Actually, I'm pretty sure I don't need this last one here There we go because it depends obviously all you have to do is like adjust the Quetzal standing I don't know maybe what I don't know I just got to load up these three dinos. That's all I know Okay, so it should be done now Place that there and let's, yeah, I'm probably going to need the ramps now that I think about it, or that extra ramp, just to make sure nothing will happen. Okay. There we go. Okay, and now let's go with, oh yeah, I thought I had walls, but I forgot I left them because I didn't know how many I would need for sure. So let's come in here. I can put those back. Put those back and now we'll grab. We'll just do wood walls. Because I'm just going to put them around and you know, can demolish them whenever I need to. And everything. So let's go up here. Just place them all. Hopefully this will hold. I hope. And then like I'll load them up and may probably put a door on there. I'll leave that open because I think... I'll need to be able to move. So let's go ahead and try the beaver. And park it right there. I don't know if I've ever really moved stuff on a Quetzal saddle, so I don't know how this will work too well. Let's put the Dodicarus over there. And I'm trapped now. let me free of course this was gonna be an issue there we go and now we'll bring Maudie the moose up okay let's come down here actually do that just so it doesn't fall off and I'll put these walls back let's go ahead and take one off real quick just in case I need to use it. And let's try. Oh yeah, but I don't need that though right now. Well, it looks like they're staying on there pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna fly now to my new base location place. Oh my gosh, the screen's all flashing and glitchy and everything. But I'm gonna fly to where I want to build my new base, so I will see you then. Okay, so I think I have found it over here. So it's over here in the grasslands. I'm just trying to find exactly where I want to build it at. Because um, it's, you know, just pretty much going to be like a big kind of like square design. So nothing real fancy, which this area over here doesn't look too bad. I just have to worry about, uh, of course, there's gigas in the area. So I have to worry about those. And then there's also uh, the stuff coming from the area over here. I don't know why my screen keeps flashing like that. I know it uh, pretty much only does it when I'm flying around like this with the Quetzal. Because every time I just stop, it stops. But when I'm like flying around everything, it starts doing it. So I'm just going to come over here and I guess just land here. And then I don't know if this is going to be a good spot or not. But I'm just going to leave it here. Actually, let me go down. I didn't build this very well because it's... 
Sometimes hard to do that. I want to see what this place is. It does have a water well type thing. I may just have to uh, um, attach stuff to that and run it to my base. Because I was trying to decide if I want to incorporate that into the base. But I don't like the design. I want more of a flatter area. I, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. But um, just in general type design. So I'm going to land here. Hopefully this works out and everything. So let's come out. Pick up this wall. Okay. And we're going to come down here. And so I'm just going to start off by putting down our first foundation and the crafting station. So that way we can, you know, craft up everything we need and get that going. So we're going to put that down here and then the crafting station up on top of it there. There we go. And so now we will pull down the dinos, which th thankfully I had already had stuff on them prior to bringing them here so they should be pretty much good to go so let's grab this now I'll just walk it off doesn't really matter just bring it over here towards this and of course these are some of my strong or some of my stronger dinos so if any of that stuff comes this way they'll be able to take care of it and handle it for me but I wanted to be over here because, you know, we have the trees and stuff over there so I can fly and get more stuff on the beaver and everything. So let's come in here first. Um, I know I want to make a little, like, safe surrounding area. Uh, let's go ahead and stick. We'll just do this set of that here. And then we'll be able to pull. So it'll pull some stone. So we'll just do like 2,000, I think. There we go. Pull some wood now. We'll do another 2,000. Even though I'm probably going to go through this so fast. And then the thatch. I did not think at all about bringing um, any uh, fiber which I will need fiber but oh well so why should I trying to think of what I should build first as a defense I should have brought those behemoth gates because obviously build them and then put them back like tear them up or whatever but let's I guess go ahead and look at see how many behemoth gates we can build only two of course that's just with what I have I may wait and go wait for that maybe fly back to the other base and grab those um let's go ahead and do we need foundations if i can figure out where they are stone fence foundation we'll craft all that we can it's going to be a lot of trips going on here <laughs> but yeah so i'm going to craft this start working stuff up which pretty much is going to make a giant like square rectangle shape you know just some giant like shape i'll put behemoth gates probably depending on the size and stuff at least one on each side and I'm just going to make it like a castle is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to do like a castle wall. And then I'll uh, like, you know, build like a wall and everything. And then I'll just design a base on the inside. Uh, these scorpions. So I will get to work on that because it's going to take quite a long time. So I'll start working on that and I'll bring it back to you once I get some sort of design or at least some sort of like protection or something set up for the base so I will see you then okay so I got some stuff built now I got all the foundations put down it's not exactly perfect so I ended up doing I think it's 28 by f I don't even know <laughs> I can't even remember um I think there's from the center of the door here there's 21 oh so 42 um so it's a 42 by 28 um, not exactly like I didn't want it to be exactly perfectly square, but um, just to base it off the behemoth gates, that's kind of just what I went with. Um, so I have, of course, walls to put down here because um, now that's just pretty much what everything's going to be. It'll uh, obviously do like some sort of design work going on with. Uh oh, I'm trapped in here. Um, so, first off, I built a little shelter house because I'll put all the dinos inside and hopefully. Um, put the Quetzal up top and hopefully it'll be fine because obviously there's still a lot of dangerous stuff around and I can squeeze all the dinos inside of the house there. Uh, but I just want to put some 
ramps down. I didn't craft nearly enough ramps as I thought I would need. I didn't think there'd be that many, but um, of course we have the front door here. I'll just put down on the front door because that's really what matters right now. There we go, put that down. And I just switched these to do the manual doors because they're obviously the S plus. So just to do that, so I gotta put those all around. But I've got the foundations done exactly how I want them. And so now what I will do is just come out here with the walls. And I'll probably yeah, start there. And I'm just going to build up like this and then put a ceiling across once I get I'm going to get it to the height of the door so it'll go, you know, across all the doors and everything. Um, and then I'll get put, you know, like some sort of like railing wall or something on the top so obviously I don't fall down in. This was the one place I just kind of messed up because I was trying to keep the foundations everywhere above the ground but that's like the one place um, so it doesn't really... Uh, matter that I kept this whole like front you know perf pretty much even and everything but yeah I'm just going to build walls up like this obviously it's gonna take a lot um, of walls to do this I know you can build those like super long walls in the S plus crafting station um, I don't know how tall they are I didn't think to look at them because those may be more useful of course, I'm sure they take a lot of resources. I don't think I have them unlocked, though. Let's see what they are, though. Um, we'll go with stone wall. So that f four times so, that's a four, and that's 12. I don't know exactly how tall... Actually, I better not because I want to put like window designs in and everything. And so, um, actually, probably not because if it's going to be doubled, it'd be probably too weird to do windows and everything. Um, so let's go ahead and see if I can craft any. I didn't think, I don't think I unlocked that when I was looking at it. So let's go with stone wall again. We'll do the four times one and we'll see how much that cost. So large stone wall, we will craft one. So we can do th 37, 36 of those. So it's pretty much 36 times four would be this. I would somewhat assume and think it works out to be the same. Um, we could do over a hundred, so it's hard to tell on that. I don't think I grabbed that wall out. I'm gonna place it there real quick, and we'll just see see if it can somewhat give us an estimate of how tall the behemoth gate is. I assume it's pointing the proper direction. So it looks like maybe two of those. I don't know. Let me go. I'll just craft a bunch more of these. Okay, large stone wall and we'll craft all 36 of them and grab a couple that probably down here towards the bottom as they usually tend to be and there they go okay I don't know how many more that would be. Let's get on the Quetzal. Hopefully I can fly around and do this at the same time. Okay. Also, that's perfect. So it's just three walls in there. I'm pretty sure you can stick a ceiling. I don't have any on me. Nope. Say so stealing straight across there, I would think. Let's go ahead and get down on the Quetzal here. Oh no. Oh no, you probably have to do about one more wall. So you need pretty much one wall along the bottom, it looks like. 
So let's just go ahead and take that one down. And that one. Whoops, get rid of the gun there. Let's go ahead and move to the outside over this way. Something damage it? Maybe it just needs a repair or something? I don't know. They'll probably fly around here to get it adjusted. Oh, I I did. I think I <laughs> may need to have uh, two walls, but oh well. I don't think I'm too far away now. Hitting all the buttons, but what I need. Uh, I can't get this straight up. I'll get this place though and then probably be done because I'll have to work on everything else off camera. No, so see that's perfect and I think we started off with two I would assume down here. Or no, one because I forgot I didn't have any on the other side there. Yeah, large stone walls, stone walls. So yeah, we gotta have one all the way around. And then we'll just use those to place around the top. Okay. So let me go ahead and put these in here. Place this one up over here. So that should all be the same height now and everything should be good to go. Okay, so now I know exactly what I need to do and it's just going to stay the same. So the wall is going to match. So like, of course, the front wall here will be all the same height because that's the front's all the same height across. But then when it drops down, like over here, the wall will drop down as well. And so it'll just kind of be all the same height, but, you know, drop up and down as the stuff goes. Let's see if I can land the Quetzal up here. So we can park it and I kind of did. I'll have to land it again. There's all the flashing still because of the flying the Quetzal. And I did it. I can just drop down right over here, get to the ladder. Maybe. And there we go. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be working on for now. I'll just, you know, continue placing all the walls and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this episode arc. Of course, didn't do a whole lot. Just got the horrible platform put on the Quetzal and then moved the dinos over to here and started working on our castle. Of course, as you get done, it'll start to you know, look more like a castle. I tried to come up with a design for the corners, you know, like castles have, I forget what they're called. Um... I forget what the name is called, but where you have, you know, the like rounded designs or something. But with what I have, I wasn't able to do anything and I can't really come up with stuff. So maybe something I do towards the end of building these outer walls. Not exactly sure, but we'll come up with something. And I realize there's some like carrots growing down here in my base. So I can pick those and get some carrots. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of Arc. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel. We hit over... 600 so we're on our road to 1000 and when we hit 1000 we are going to are going to be doing a giveaway a special giveaway and it has to do with arc so if you like arc and want to be a part of the giveaway be sure to subscribe to the channel so when we hit that 1000 mark you can have a chance to win our special arc prize and um i think it'll be really cool and stuff and whoever wins should um find it cool and enjoyable and everything so um, I thank you for watching and we will see you next time going into our Heidi shelter.